Okay, so this is the Free Tris, um Fluffy Wand Curl Ringlet Curl. Fluffy Ringlet Curl. Um, I was pissed when I was putting it in because I was like, okay, this doesn't look like the Wand Curl. I just thought maybe the texture of the hair was different because of the color because I'm not used to this color either. I'm like, just get straight 1B. Um, but then I realized it was the ringlet curl and not the fluffy wand curl. But anyway, so, but it is growing on me. This one right here recurled because it was getting, the whole, the, the whole curl was getting straight. So I rolled it up and recurled it. But anyway, um, I just have it up in a messy ponytail. Of course, I have my hair cut on the sides and all the way around in the back. Um, I love this hair because when, I mean, I can do so much with it. It's down, center part. You can't even tell my. I have an undercut. Um, it's just like the fluffy wand curl, except it's it's a little shorter. Um, I feel like the fluffy wand curl has a, a bit more hair that kind of hangs with the tendrils at the end. And this doesn't, it curls at the end, but a lot of them are kind of straight. I don't know, it's not much of a difference, but there's something different about it. I have to switch back to my fluffy wand curl to really determine what the difference is. But it gets frizzy just like the fluffy wand curl. Um, I can show you how I go through and cut it. I have my scissors up here, and I don't, so... Oh, yeah, I do. Um, I'll just go through and find these these pouches of extra hair that's just kind of sitting off by itself, looking frizzy, and I'll just snip them away like like so. Those extra fluffy pieces of hair are not that bad to have because it gives it more body, but. It gets on my nerves. Like right in here. Like all this in here. I'll pull some hair apart and then I'll, I'll grab it. And I'll only have the hair that I want to cut. I'll take a really close look at it. Like it's hanging from this strand. From this strand in the middle. And this at the bottom. So I'll cut this one first. Because that's at the top right now. While The way I'm holding it. So that one's done. Throw that one back. <clears throat> then I'll find the next one that's the highest up, or meaning the hair is higher up on the hair, or the pieces at the top, so I can get it out of the way quicker. It depends. You have to kind of play with it a bit. I'll cut this at the bottom first, because then that hair will be out of the way. And then I'll just cut the remainder. Sometimes I like to pull it down so I get all of the hair that I really can't see that needs to be cut. I'll go through and cut that as well. But anyway, I'm not going to do all that tonight. It's late. These pieces in the back that touch my neck, I hate. But anyway, let's get into it. Um... I like wearing it like this because it's real cute. I have eight braids on the top of my head, which this eighth braid or the eighth, not the eighth braid, but the two extra braids on the edges are because I'm, I was growing my hair out. It was getting on my nerves, so I had to cut it, but I didn't want to, the longer hair that was right around the perimeter of my um, growth on the top, I left that. And I was able to grab it and put a braid here and here and across the back. So I normally would have just six braids in the top of my head. but And that would work. But like I said, I'm trying to get my undercut to be a little bit less of an undercut. So um, I have eight braids. And I love using this last braid and just parting them on the side. And the back fall like so. Parting it in. Yes, honey. Yes, mm-hmm. I love it's the perfect bang. Mm-hmm. 
You can flip it back and just have a little bit right here or all the way back. I love the ombre of this hair. I could not go all blonde. If I had it all blonde, I couldn't go all blonde. I love the ombre of this hair. Anyway, um, here's two braids down. It's a little bit less sexy, but at the same time, it's cute. As you can see. Three braids down. It's cute, too. And it's, I love the hair because it like it naturally layers itself. It looks like it's layered. I didn't do much cutting. I cut it a little bit because it, some of the tendrils that were hanging were just really uneven. And some were really long. So I cut it so it looked pretty even across the back. And that's it. And maybe right in here. But the rest just kind of lays the way it lays. And of course here's the center again. But um, I do stuff like... Actually, some of these are going to be now because I've never done, I've done this one where you just have it up in a little ponytail. Right at the top here. Flip it to the side, wear it like this. You know, could put two ponytails like that. Hmm, that'd be cute. Um, you saw how I had it before. I'm gonna show you how I put it up before when I first got on camera. I just pulled it all up. And put it in a. I didn't put it all the way in like this and then there were some pieces that were hanging so I just kind of let them hang where they hang. It's kind of cute. You know? Huh. You can also do a full ponytail like this here. bring it up you can part it and bring it up look like this yeah yes honey <laughs> yes I like this Bring it up forward and then see how this is naturally hanging lower. Let it hang low. Let's do another one over here. I'm going to try to get it to look like the other one. That's not going to work. There we go. So that's going to hang long. Then let these hang a little bit shorter. Them back. All you have to do is push it back up. Okay. Yes. This is cute. You can't see them, but I have a few strands that are just hanging right in front of my eyes. It's getting on my nerves. Photoshop. You know, I'm not changing this one. We're going to have a photo shoot. That's it. For, this is my first real video of like me. Sorry, I got mirrors all around me. So that's why I'm looking off. Um, of me reviewing these crochets. 
like this where I'm actually talking normally I just do a voiceover but so it'll get better but I think you got the gist of this hair I like it I've had it in for a week it'll be a week on Sunday and it is frizzy but you know the with crochets the the frizzier it gets the better it looks really um, I haven't really had to maintain it much. I put some mousse on it when I first did it. I went through and cut, you saw how I did it earlier, cut some of the excess hair that's really getting matted out. And then I put some more mousse on it. I went through each braid and did it. And it uh, bounced back a little bit. Um, I'll probably wear this for another week or two. And then be out. I actually have my next... Here I'm going to use is the Vivica Fox. Okay. Vivica Fox One Pack Solution Zulu Brie Flower Wave. Um, now I saw this in the store, in the hair store, and One Pack Collection. A one pack solution Zulu Bray flower what was it? flower wave it's really waving in the end it's supposed to be tangle free okay um you can use a curling iron on it which I'm not gonna do I'm gonna time for it what I'm gonna do is I'm and it's um you can dip it like in, in hot water to get the look you want so what I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm thinking about I was gonna prep it beforehand but I think I'm gonna go ahead and put it in see how it's covering because I like to be able to cover my sides when I want to I, I like hair that's easy to put in and I don't have to do a bunch of knotting and um, you know I don't want to worry about it slipping out you know what I'm saying I, I want it to cover really well. So what I'm going to do is put it in. I think I'm going to put some chunky braids in, with this hair in. I mean, I'm going to crochet it in. Then I'm going to braid it, dip it, unravel it so it's more of that wave that I want. And then I might, I think I'm going to curl the ends. So they're kind of like this. We'll see what happens. But I wanted some longer hair that wasn't going to tangle on me and get really mad. I, I can't do this. I can't detangle hair like this. It's all the way down my back. I can't. It's too much. And I don't want it real big. I don't want to have to deal with that. So we'll see what this is looking like when I put this in. I'm probably going to put this in in about two weeks. Um, and I'll do a review on it. So stay tuned. Subscribe so you know exactly when I've posted this. Um, it's new. I haven't found any videos on this hair at all. So y'all need to stay tuned. Okay? Sorry. Next time I'll look more at the camera. I'm too busy looking at myself. I'm... I love I love this style. I'm just gonna leave it like this and put my bonnet on and hope it turns out like this tomorrow morning. I might put something on these so I know which ones I had pulled down. But at any rate, thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, and comment. Please comment. I need to know I need some feedback so I know what you guys want to see. If you got any questions about this hair, this hair, let me know. Um and like I said, I'll let you will see when I post this video. Okay, if you subscribe. Thanks for watching. Got the same games that the mother niggas got. But your shit is polished. It's almost camouflaged. Female intuition. Tell me what I'm missing. Who's in your story? But am I gonna listen? No, oh, I'ma jump. Cause I hope that you'll change. Well, all the while, I know you'll never change for me. Another sister. Lost in the mist here comes a broken heart and busted windows. Oh, I don't wanna go and I don't wanna stay. Sometimes I think you're real, sometimes I think you're playing with me. Don't wanna end up in this drama movie. You know how the story goes, and another one, and another one. And another one, and another one, and another one, and another one, hey, and another one, and another one. Hey.